Hey guys, and welcome to our like end of year and end, end of year review, end of year recap. Yeah. I keep wanting to say review. Also, I don't know why. We're reviewing our recap. We're recapping <laughs> our reviews. I just yeah, that's what it is. We're recapping our reviews. So I just wanted to get together and talk about all the stuff that we've managed to do over the course of 2018, with 2019 starting tomorrow. Um, we got a lot of awesome stuff coming up in 2019, but before we talk about anything in the future, let's go into the past, talk about what we've done previously, uh, previously on Zap Night. <clears throat> so, um, our first podcast episode of 2018 was actually Super Metroid. Um, Super Metroid, I played with Keely's husband, Brandon, <clears throat> and, um... That was, like, one of my favorite podcasts. Really? <laughs> Actually, no. That was one of my favorite games that I've played this year. Like, that was just a really good game. We gave it an A. I know. That's the first A, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it was the first A. Not the only A now, but it is the, the first one. It was an A-, minus. it was a 90. So, yeah, I loved that game. It was a great, great game. I'm excited to play some more Metroid stuff. Hopefully in 19, but we'll we'll see. <clears throat> so then the next game was Final Fantasy 2. Yes. And you you played with this one, yeah. right? So what did you what do you remember of Final Fantasy 2? I mean, this was February or so we played it in January. I remember liking it a lot more than one. Well, yeah. I, there was all I think because uh there was a lot of trauma after one. I wasn't excited to play this, but it wasn't nearly as bad as Yeah. Two went went really quick. Yeah. It was a fast game, and I didn't mind this game. <clears throat> I liked the story we, of it. We didn't grade it very well. No, it was it still an be. F. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We gave it a fifty-two, <laughs> which is fifty more points than uh, Final Fantasy should have ever gotten. Yeah, I don't remember what Final Fantasy one got. Um, I've got it here. Let's take a look. Final Fantasy one, we gave it. Oh, whoa. Nothing. A 55. <laughs> Even a 55. So, I mean, actually, Final Fantasy 1 did a little better than Final Fantasy 2. I don't know how that's possible. I think for me, I think I gave it more points just because oh, it was a nostalgia thing. Because it's it's the original. It's what... Where this one was just not that great. <laughs> um, so then... <laughs> Uh, me and Lori played Horizon Zero Dawn. That was another A game. That was 93. Oh, uh, man, that, I can't say enough good things about this game. Have you played it yet? I know that you got yourself a copy of it. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. You need to. You I've need been to play busy. It. I know, but I'm you need busy. to play it. Stop being busy and just go and play this game. It's worth it. Oh, man, the story's amazing. I, I think, looking back at the scores, everything was 9. Nine or above. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing game. Um, then we went over our uh, Final Fantasy XV DLC. Man, this feels like it was forever ago I know, that we did when this. You said, when you said the XV DLC, it didn't seem like it was like, well, that seems like it was January. <laughs> well, I think it's because when... Well, I guess we we keep thinking like fifteen, which fifteen was last not last year, it, the year before. Fifteen is what like three years old now. Yeah. So yeah, I mean the DLC is like maybe a year younger than that. So I don't know. It's still it's it's been out for a while. Uh, but we we had a chance to sit down and play all of the DLC packages, and we reviewed that. Um, again, all this stuff you can see on our website is at night dot com. So it's just you know. We're just talking more about it, because <laughs> why not? Um, let's see, what do we do next? Playmates. Playmates. Oh, man. That was rough. <laughs> it was rough. It was so sad because I was so excited for that game. <laughs> and then we played it, and it was just like, uh, nah, nah. <laughs> It was hard. That was a hard game. Yeah, it, it was. It didn't do very well in our scores. No. A 53. I mean, I mean it beat out Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> Which is sad to say. <laughs> it was um, a rough game. <laughs> yeah. Yoshi's Woolly World. I played with Lori. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they're actually coming out with another Yoshi game that's very similar to this. I can't remember now what it's called, but it's going to be out for the Switch sometime in 2019. You so know, that'll be fun. I have uh, Yoshi's Woolly World Amiibo, and I've never played the game. 
It's a fun game. You I, can borrow ours. Yeah, I'll have to. It's a fun game. I think it's Wii U, yeah. So, uh, we gave that one a C, a 76. And it was still a great game. It just There was some aspects to it that could have been a little better. Um, then we played Final Fantasy 3. I didn't like Final Fantasy 3. It, it, it only okay. got a 53. It was the chibi characters for me. Yeah. And I dreaded playing it from the beginning, and then, and then I played it, and I'm like, yeah, no, I had reason to dread this game. <laughs> I really didn't like it. I exploited the crap out of the, like, <laughs> duplicate item thing. Uh, just, it was a tough, it was a tough game. Um... And that was, I think, was that our last... Oh, no, we played Final Fantasy IV later. Yep. Uh, we played Pokemon Snap then. I loved playing Pokemon this. Snap was in July. This was my favorite podcast. Was it? This uh, I loved doing this game, and I loved doing... I don't know why, I think it was just because it's a happy game. Like, there really is no, like... There's, there's no, no bad guys. There's no it's like. Just... There's not even really a story, so there's really no like conflict or anything. So it's just it was just a happy kind of game. I like that. Yeah, we well we gave it a pretty decent score. It was C almost a B. Yeah, a, a C. You should. He doesn't grade on a curve. <laughs> Am I supposed to? <laughs> yes. Every good teacher out there who who appreciates. Oh, we their have a very specific students. grading system that we always stick to. <laughs> Oh, man. It should have um, got extra credit. I know. So then, in August, we played Final Fantasy IV. Four. And this one, we gave it a decent score. Finally. It better than Pokemon Snap. I know. I know. It, we gave it a 81 out of 100, which is a B-. minus. This was a good game. And, you know, I will say, I was... We were trying to decide what our favorite podcasts were. And, it for me, it broke down between Pokemon Snap... Final Fantasy IV and Harvest Moon, and I think this one was pretty close because I really did enjoy reviewing this, and I think this was a long podcast, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was an hour, almost two hours, an hour and 57 we minutes. We had a lot to talk about. I think, for it's me... Big, it's got a very complex story. For me, I have more fun playing the RPGs, but I have the least fun reviewing the That's RPGs there's so because much there's so cover. much story, and I hate, I hate trying to talk about the story. Hey, I wrote up that story. So. I know you did, and <laughs> and I think that one flowed really, really well, as I recall. <laughs> I think it's just the whole, like, if we sit down and we have a discussion about the story, it flows better than if we were to just sit down and read the story line by line. Yeah. It just doesn't go very well. So, you know, when we play Final Fantasy V, which is coming up, um, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll have that same flow to the I story. I I'll and be, be writing to... out the story. <laughs> the more times you write the story, the happier <laughs> yeah. I'll be. Um, so in September we reviewed, uh, Donald, Donald Duck. Duck Going Quackers. Now this was originally a thrift shop game and we reviewed this because I liked the thrift shop game so much and I thought, well, Ka I think Kaylee might really like this game. And so we sat down to play it, and we didn't really like it. <laughs> it's it like, was, the first world was okay. Like, yeah. it was a little rough, but it was okay. But I think by the end, it was like we were so done. It was it was almost like Claymates. Oh, man. It was, yeah. it was. I was happy to be done yeah. with that game. Um, it was like, I, when I first pulled it up, I couldn't see the final score. And I'm like, oh, right. How did we like this? And I scrolled down, and it's like, oh, yeah, we did 40, like 49 F, like, oh. We, we liked Final <laughs> Fantasy 2 better than this game. Well, I think we like Claymates more yeah. than this game. <laughs> Which, I mean, it was I a thrift played, shop game. What I really expect? would have rather have played Claymates. What's funny is, this one has 90-some listens on our, oh, really? on our podcast channel, yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Well, they all knew how crappy it was. Maybe, and they just wanted to hear us talk about how crappy it is. So we, then... We played Harvest Moon Magical Melody. We did. We did. And this, the GameCube. This was something that you really wanted to play. I did. And we gave it an okay score. It was a D, uh, uh, 64 out of 100. And while I, I still don't really like Harvest Moon games, I had a lot of fun with this one because of all the crap that we added to it. Yeah. Just by really, us bantering really back and good. forth. See, that's... It was a great game because you didn't have to really focus. Yeah. And then that that led us 
to have a lot of uh, inside jo- uh, inside out jokes. Inside I, out. <laughs> I think it's just because, like you say, we didn't. There was no focus. We were able to just kind of sit and veg out, literally, and you know, just collect your stuff and do everything that you normally do. Yeah. And um, Andy, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New. Year. That's what we're talking about, is all of our stuff from 2018, so thanks for joining us. So yeah, um, it, the, it, it's nice to just sit and relax and just talk, you know, while playing. Mario! So that's, that's what made it fun when we were playing that game, is that you were able to jump on over the phone and we would just sit and hang out. And My husband said that every night he'd go to bed and he would just hear, you know, we, he knew I would be gone for hours at a time because I'd be too busy watching and playing Harvest Moon at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That I have to. That, that, that was, was fun. That was really neat. We'll have to find more games that we can do that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, because I, I can't like unless I've already played. I'm spoiling it if I'm watching you already. Right, and. and some of the games, like right now we're playing Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. So it's like for us to both be sitting and, uh, and playing it on our own, like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And really, when you're playing a game like Spyro where you're focusing so hard on yeah. the game, well, this, this you, you don't even really want to talk. Harvest Moon <laughs> was just something. It was, it was basically living. Yeah, it was. Just... <laughs> it was light. It was... It's a farming simulator, but it's kind of like life simulation, too. So, yeah. I mean, you're... You don't need to be mentally invested in the game sometimes. You can just be yeah. goofy. Yeah, and that's what made it fun. And yeah. we'll have to find more games like that. Oh, yeah, like we'll that. definitely will. More Harvest Moons, right? Yes. Am I right? Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, absolutely. I'll, I'll play another Harvest Moon game. So then you played Overcooked 2. Yeah, I played that with Lori. We picked it up right when it came out. Um... What do we give it for a score? 71 out of 100. That's a C. That's really pretty good. Um, Yeah, we're we're still playing Overcooked every now and then. They just came out with a free DLC pack that included a handful of, like, Christmas-themed Aw, do you have to play as Santa? Uh, No, but I think that they have some, like, elves or something that you can (laughs) be. Uh, But... The levels are really, really hard. Oh, really? We played, we played a couple levels live on Facebook um, on Christmas, just kind of a Christmas themed yeah. stream. So if that sounds inter- interesting, check that out. Um, but yeah, Overcooked. I Overcooked. I I want to play Overcooked, Overcooked one. You were playing Overcooked. Yeah, we two. played Overcooked two. I want to play Overcooked one and see what that's like. If it's basically the same thing or if it's something different. Um, so then in November, November 15th started Team 7's. Team 7? We we had Team 7 join us. That is um, Seth and Evan. We've mushed their name together to 7. Team 7? <laughs> I like Which it. Which works out really well for us because it's easy to say. Um, no, I'm really happy to have these guys on board with us. Uh, you know, we're not... We don't do this to make any money. We don't do this for, you know, any fame by any means. I mean, clearly there's only two people watching, and I think one of them's Lori. So, I mean, it's it's really just, like, we're doing this because we like video games, and we want to sit down and play them and talk about them. And that's what this is all about. And, you know, it's awesome to find more people that are just as dedicated as I am. And, yeah, it's, it's really cool. So, Team 7, if you're watching, either now or later, thank you so much. It, it really does add it, it's nice to add the extra content to the channel to the podcast to the website well, especially because so. i didn't want to play halo <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's that's what they reviewed in november so november 15th started team seven they reviewed halo combat evolved they really liked the game i didn't personally think it was worth a 90 but i didn't play it so I mean, what can i say <laughs> i know that's that's what i thought um it's funny because they gave it a 10. Both of them gave it a 10 for story. But it's like, w- when you listen to the podcast, they talk about how um, the the story is kind of convoluted. And you got to really dig to get the story. And I'm thinking, <laughs> that's not very good for a story. <laughs> I want my story to be I told guess, to me. <laughs> I guess that's up to your... If you like having to look for your story, then that is isn't up for... What's funny is... Um, Horizon Zero Dawn is similar where you really have to dig to find the story, but 
the baseline story is told to you very straightforward where it kind of sounds like the halo isn't like that so i don't i don't know again i didn't play it so we'll i have to I play have no it say. now because team seven said it was an a i know <laughs> apparently i need to play it <laughs> so then uh we got back together and this was just this just seems like it was last week it was is not that, is that but... correct yeah it is yes. dot hack that was December, December 1st. Well, we talked, well, we played it. It practically but... was last week, then. Yeah, I know. It seemed like it was that long It ago. just came out, yeah. <laughs> um, so December 1st, um, me and Kaylee sat down and talked about Dot .hack infection. Um, what did we think? I don't remember now. It got a D. It got a D, a 65 out of 100. A high D. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good... It's an okay score. It's a passing grade. No one flunked. And like we said in the review, no it could held back. a few things could have been a lot better about this game, gameplay specifically. I think everything else got a pretty decent score looking at like story 8 7, uh graphics 7 6, gameplay 6 and 4. Like, I mean, you know, Looking at the numbers, you can see the gameplay easily. If if it would have just been a little better gameplay wise, it would have been a way better score. I was uh, looking at the table scores of the past games that we'd played earlier, yeah. and I realized I score a lot of stuff a lot lower than you do. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes I think that I, which is good because we need to be a little more harsh on some of these games. But what like I it evens out. Yeah, <laughs> it usually does. Usually what I can do when I'm sitting down and writing my review and I'm scoring it, I usually just double my score to kind of get a rough idea of what the game is going to get and usually it's pretty accurate. Usually. Sometimes not so much, but usually it's pretty accurate. It, rarely do we have completely different experiences. <laughs> So, um, after that, Team 7 came back for some Sonic Adventure. That was just December 15th, believe it or not. So, like, a week ago? Yeah, literally a week ago. <laughs> um, they scored it a 60 out of 100, which is a D-. minus. Kind of sad, but it's alright. Um, I hadn't played so the first Sonic Adventure. I've played Sonic Adventure 2 a few times, but I haven't played Sonic Adventure 1, so... Um... I, with it getting that low of a score, I'm glad that Team 7 was able to pick that up instead of us. <laughs> let them play all the crappy games. No, no. <laughs> it's more just let them play what they like to play, which is more of the shooter stuff. They I mean, they do want to play Kingdom Hearts 3, which I did pre-order Kingdom Hearts 3. I know, right? I know. That's what I thought. I've been thinking about it. Mm. Maybe we'll <laughs> all play <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> Do a four. Yeah, just do a four po four person podcast Whoa. of Kingdom Hearts four, three. I don't know if I can beat it in the time frame that no, they want to play it. I don't it. think I can beat it within a month because they want to play it within the same month that it's being released, and I don't think I have the time to be able to do well, that. Well, then maybe Team Seven might have to just do it by themselves. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So um, that's that's caught you guys up to this point right now. Um, coming up. Tomorrow, our Let's Go Pikachu podcast yeah. episode is being released. Um, I played that with Lori again. And, um, yeah, I loved this game. I loved this game. I know. Game. I don't have so a Switch, great. so I've been wanting to play well, it. Well, you're going to get a Switch soon because Animal Switch Crossing soon. is coming out, hopefully, in the next few months. So then you'll have to go and get yourself a Switch. And... And then you can just borrow my Let's Go Pikachu game, and you can just play it. <laughs> if that's what you want to do. If you even want to play it at that point. Oh, I have I have heard that Nintendo is making another Pokemon game in 2019, and it's supposed to be like the 8th generation of Pokemon games. Aww. So I'm very curious to see how that's going to roll out and what that's going to look like. Hopefully it... Hopefully they fix some things. You have, that, you have things. There that are there are things about. that Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee slack on that I really would like to see fixed. That I would really like to see implemented. So, so we'll tune see. in tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, check that out tomorrow. Um, after that, January fifteenth, um, Team Seven is reviewing Doom, the twenty sixteen Doom game. 
Oh, they're not the original. No, one? not the original Doom. They're <laughs> they're they reviewing the. I think they're playing it on the Switch. They should do the Doom as uh, the thrift shop then. The original, the original Doom, Doom, maybe. Doom, maybe yeah. I can convince them to do that because that would be a lot of fun. Um, it might take a little finagling on my computer to figure that out, but I'm sure I could do it. You could play Doom on IT anything anymore. IT guy over here. So. <laughs> <you can. laughs> so uh, then. Ripto's. In February, we are reviewing Ripto's Rage, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Which, the remaster. Yeah, that's the one that we're playing is the remaster version, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun, and it looks amazing. Especially Spyro 1, I, I'm so used to the Spyro 1 graphics, not only because we've reviewed it within the past couple years for the podcast, but also... I grew up playing Spyro 1, so then to see it in its HD glory yeah. was just amazing. It looked so good. Oh, the, it's been a lot of fun. And Spyro 2, this, is, yeah. it looks the same. I mean, it just really, really good graphics, and yeah. just everything about this game is, is really nice. So I'm excited to sit down and talk about that game with you. Um... I don't know exactly what Team 7's doing in February. They've talked about maybe reviewing Smash Brothers, but we'll kind of see how that goes. But for sure, in March, we will be doing Final Fantasy V. Yeah, we're almost to our favorites. I know. <laughs> Once we get past five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all really, really, really good games. So I have a feeling that this year we might be doing a lot of Final Fantasy. <laughs> it's just pure Final Fantasy. It'll just be a lot of Final the Fantasy. Year Final Fantasy. <laughs> well, actually, we played a lot of the Final Fantasy games this year. We did plow I mean, through quite a few. The podcast is two two years old now. Three. Three years old? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, the <laughs> the podcast started in 2016. So like so it's going to be three years in, old. In 2016, we only played one yeah. Final Fantasy game, but then all of... Wait, no. Is that right? 16, 17, and 18. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I think you're right. Three years. Anyway, um, we only played, like, one one Final Fantasy game in, like, the first... Final Fantasy 1 then traumatized this year, me. This year, we played two, three, four, and now five, we're working yeah. on five. So, yeah, it's it's been crazy. It's been really crazy. Um, so, yeah. what other games do you want to play this year? What, what what are you kind of thinking of wanting to play? Chrono Trigger. Yes, of course. Of course we need to play Chrono Trigger. I'd like to try and squeeze Chrono Cross in there. <laughs> it's a good game. You haven't beat it, so you don't get to say anything. I know, but the, the, there's a reason why I haven't beat it, and that's because the battle system is so difficult for me to master. <sighs> So, it's I don't know. Not I'll, that bad. I'll do it. I'll do it. John Clark says hi, hi. Specifically to you. Oh, hi. I don't know if he knows you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I assume he probably does. Nope. No. <laughs> it looks like he tried to tag you. I don't know if it worked. Um, and then, let's see. What do I want to play? I don't know. I'm really just excited. Oh, I want to play Typo. Really, really bad. Type Zero, sorry. Type Zero. We've been calling it Typo. Typo, this whole time. yeah. It's Type Zero, and I knew it. I knew it is, but um, yeah, Type Zero is a really good game. Uh, Valkyrie Profile is a really good game. Yeah, but it's like I don't want to just play really good games either. Like I kind of every now and then I I get this twinge of just wanting to throw whatever I have on the shelf and just pull I pop it in want and play to it. Play Elements. Yeah, yeah, we totally yes. need to do that. That was one of the thrift shop games that we did this year. That was one of my favorite thrift shop games. Was I it? was so impressed with the uh, with elements that I wanted to play the whole game. <laughs> yeah, um, I wanted merchandise. I think we got through it pretty quick too, didn't we? Yeah, well, we didn't like beat the game, but we had a decent amount of uh, playtime where we we enjoyed it. Right. It was a good game. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I did pick myself up a copy too, so. Now we both have a copy of Elibits, so we should we should play this game. We really, really should. Step aside, Final Fantasy V. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, it was a good game. I had a lot of fun playing it. In fact I ran home to my husband. I was like, 
We have to play. You have to look at this you were, game. Because you were going to let me keep that game, too. I was. And yeah, then I was after like, we reviewed it, this. or after we played it a little bit, you I were mean, like, no, I I'm keeping it. I picked it up, like, really dirt cheap at, like, a game. So they were just basically throwing it. It was like a, a, a dollar, maybe. Yeah, so we I don't think I paid that much for it, either. I believe I picked up Elibits. We were... I don't even think Zeb and I had started yet, but we were talking about it. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I'll just pick this up. It's really cheap, and it's just an easy game that we can throw in with our thrift shop stuff, because we had been talking about doing that segment. Yeah. And so it really worked out in our favor. So, yeah. yeah. It's a good game. So I want to talk about some of the thrift shop games that we've played this year. Um, I believe it starts with Elibids. We'll go ahead and okay, say it Elibids. starts with Elibids. I don't know. It might be Oceans also. I don't remember uh, what yeah. I played with Brandon. Uh, well, I know we played Oceans together. Yeah, but I don't know if it that might was be the, Maybe it's one of these two, though. No, it's... Family Feud with Brandon? Is that the one that we played? Family Feud? Oh, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. I wonder what happened to that video. There it is. Why is oh. that down there? Because it must have been uh, reviewed earlier than that. I don't know. Yeah, but I think that that was earlier too. It doesn't matter. Um, so we played Elibits. That was one of our thrift shop games. Busy Scissors. Do you remember playing that game? Uh-uh. Oh, that must have been with Lori. Oh man, that was a terrible game. <laughs> that sounds awful. It was. I think it was for the Wii, and like you had to. It, it was like a hair cutting like mini game game <laughs> and it was it was terrible it was a horrible I game never run most scissors. most of our thrift shop games have Boy, been horrible games horrible. aside from elements i think is Mary kate and ashley oh yeah that was our first thrift shop game and it was terrible it was so bad um Sneak King, do you remember playing yes, that? Yes, I remember. Sne- I was so excited to play it, and that I was, was like, so disappointed. I should have been disappointed. I busted I out was. my Xbox just for this game. <laughs> like the only time my Xbox has been used on that it was night to play Sneak King. Was to play Sneak King. We should have got Burger King that night. Yeah, we should have. What were we thinking? <laughs> I want Burger. King. We should have had free Burger King for the <laughs> for, for the, the advertising promotion. that we were giving them. We would have one French fry. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I didn't like Sneak King. Um, unfortunately, it had the potential to be a really funny game, yeah. and then it just was, like, underdeveloped and terrible. I mean, what do you get? I mean, what do you expect? I know, I know. <laughs> um, MTV Pimp My Ride. Oh, my gosh. That was a terrible that game. That was a terrible <laughs> game, but it was so funny the way we were talking about What, what were we calling the, the currency? The cur- the- okay, I didn't realize Skrilla is in a legit... Oh yeah, we're, we're apparently like because right after the right after that, I was watching something and like they were throwing out that that word everywhere. And I'm like, Skrilla. I'm so out of the <laughs> the loop of everything. Uh, it was it was, <laughs> it was really so weird. funny though. But I mean, my mom mobile. This is freaking MTV's <laughs> Pimp My Ride. I mean, this is a uh, like a '90s TV show, or early you know, 2000s. So there there's no way that less, this game is that recent. It was a racing game. And there was a lot less pimping involved than I thought there would be. I don't say that often. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Family Feud. We played. I think we had Kaylee and Brandon with that one. I think. So. I think so. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been, it. Anyway, it's been a year. I remember Family Feud. It and it was like the '90s edition, or no, Generations. It was Generations. Yes, no. And like I the remember. backgrounds were like themed, but the content wasn't really themed. Now I remember. Yes. yes. I actually okay. just got a Family Feud. Remember the Family Feud of our white elephant gift exchange yeah. thing for our family. Um, I actually picked that up. Did you? Really I'm had... glad you did because I was going to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, so I found it and I picked it up. Nice. So we'll have to play it. Um, babysitting Mama. Oh my god. This gosh. was probably my favorite. Where's the baby? Uh, I think we might have taken her downstairs. Um, this was probably our you my took favorite. The baby downstairs this into was... the basement. It was bulky in the way. That's what we do with babies around here. It's true. Josh <laughs> is in the basement right now. He's collecting dust. So uh, we we played that for one of our thrift shop games, and it was probably my favorite thrift shop game of the year, just because of how hilarious Daddy it was. He loved Babysitting Mama. I didn't know. It wasn't the game that I liked. I just liked that 
the that whole episode that that was first shop lot. game it was funny. is so funny because these grown adults playing with this little like plush <laughs> baby. Oh, that's right, because Team Seven was there. We were all passing the baby. No, no, it was no. He, Team they Seven there. wasn't there. No, we played something else with. with them. Oh, we were playing the baby game. Yeah, yeah. Doing the the party games. Yep. Yep. My bad. Yep. Team Seven would have enjoyed the baby though. They would have. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll force them to do it for a uh, baby. A th- for a for a full <laughs> review. Like, yeah, you guys have to have shared custody of this baby there so that go, there's an idea. every week you gotta trade it on uh, and off so that... <laughs> we, we we choose Team 7's uh, game that they have to play and they can choose ours. Yeah, that would be terrible. It'll probably be like, I don't know. They'd make us play Halo. <laughs> Halo. Half-Life. <laughs> hey, I played Half-Life Fortnite. 1. It was a good, it was a good game. Um, then Sim- Crazy Frog Racer. No, 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 Sim Animals. Oh, yeah, Sim Animals, yep. And that was a horrible was, game. We didn't even do no. anything. It was like we did, we went through the tutorial, and we're like, yeah, this is terrible. I, I turned it off. I think we got like 15, 20 minutes in before we just shut it off. We're like, yeah, yeah we're done. This, yeah, it this was so horrible. bad. It was so bad. Yeah, we only played about a half hour If of it. I bought that game at that time, I would have returned it. I would have been that person. For sure, yeah. yeah. I think it was, was a little awful. harder with two people. Oh, on yeah, the screen, absolutely. Because it was a Wii game, so you could see like both cursors on the screen, but it just made it more I confusing. I would have returned this yeah, game. It was, it was bad. awful. I wanted to return it now. <laughs> so then we played Crazy Frog Racer. Was that with you? No. Oh, Wait, that must. No. Crazy Frog? That was Lori. Well, well, I think I watched it. That's why yeah. I wasn't sure. Um. That was an interesting game. The people went really, really, really fast. Like when you're driving, you're like they're crazy frog. It. Yeah, that's really it. And the music was like bop, remix bop, bop. of all like a crazy frog remix of like other songs. It just it was kind of chaotic. <laughs> it it wasn't a terrible game, but it was very <laughs> chaotic. Um, and then Team Seven for their first. Yeah, I think so. No, that doesn't seem right. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right. They played um, like... SpongeBob. <laughs> they played a SpongeBob, like, or like Nicktoons party games for the uh, with the eye toy. And yeah, they, they had a good time playing that. It seemed like it was really difficult, but it seemed like the, they were they were having fun at least. Um, then for their latest episode, they played Haze, which is a PS3, like, shooter game, and they were having all sorts of problems playing that game. Oh, really? Like, you should watch the video, and they're just, like, they're just, like, hating this game so much. (laughs) Part of the problem was, I think Seth's controller was on the fritz, and once I figured out that he was having this problem, I googled it and found out that all my controllers are having this problem, and then I had to go through and physically fix all of my controllers. Really? Yeah. So something, oh. something. There's the way that the controller sits inside the the like, the way the board sits in the controller, the cord doesn't make contact all the time, so you got to go in there and like fix it. It's That's weird. That's interesting. It's so weird. So yeah, I had to fix it because of that game. Um, and then just recently, Lori and I played the Wild Thornberries. I said it right. The Wild oh, Thornberries. Nice. I've been saying the Wild Thornberries because of Final Fantasy. I thought you just always said that just to be funny. No, I legit thought that that's how it was pronounced. <laughs> Wild Thornberries. Um, but this was a uh, Game Boy Advance game, and it was really, really hard. Well, no. It wasn't that bad, but level two is impossible to the point where we had to um, look up. We, no, no, we there there was no help there online. Was no help. There was no like let's play of this game. It was just uh, we couldn't beat level two, so then we found a uh, password to advance us to level uh... three. And that was the only way we could do it. So yeah, that was not fun. What's funny though is after we got done playing it, I was sitting down with Lori just the other day, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try that level again. I put it in like two, Uh, three tries, and I did it. I remember you telling me about that. Like I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. (laughs) So yeah, that kind of brings us up with our thrift shop games. Uh, We have a lot more thrift shop games. If you look at this wall, ninety percent of that is from. 
thrift shops or garage sales or um, Facebook marketplace lots. Facebook deals. Speaking of, um, I have a handful of stuff that I've gotten from garage sales or thrift shops this past year that I am super proud of and He's I kind of want to I kind of want to brag a little bit. So, um first off is this Game Boy. We got like super early in the garage sale season. These games are not accurate with what came with it, but it's all right. So this we got this Game Boy. It is a clear original Game Boy. In the original box, yeah, all of the like stickers and stuff have been taken off the box, but it still is it's, amazing. It's so cool. It is really. This is super cute. Okay. So, um, I got that. Lori found that in a garage sale for fifty cents. What? In the box with two games, and I think it came with a Kirby game and a Donkey Kong game, I believe. Oh, you want to take it out? I'm just gonna try. Right, it's it's stayed this preserved for so long, and then Kaylee breaks it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! It's so cool. It's yeah. so cool. Yeah, and all these. I couldn't even. I didn't even know games. that they made a clear version. Plus, the system works perfectly. Like, there's no problems with it. These are both Kirby games. I don't know. They both... Yeah, I don't oh, think... Oh, Donkey Kong. Is, no, Donkey Kong's not in there. I don't think that they... Uh, these aren't the original games that came out. Oh, with. I, I see. Just, I just threw those in there because they're there. cute. Because yeah. they're cute. Well, because I'm kind of... I have this on display normally in the game room, so... I thought it was cute. Yeah, so I threw them in there. 50 cents? 50 cents, yeah. And then... Like, a few weeks later, we got the Game Boy printer. What? And this is only a buck. And it has all of the, like, manuals. It's got, like, paper. It's got paper in it. Oh, it's so cute! So this is specifically played with the um, Game Boy camera. Yes, I remember. Yes. I remember the Game it Boy camera. It only plays with the Game Boy camera. So that's pretty amazing for only a dollar. Super cute. It's just one of those things like when you're a collector, you just kind of want anything that is that. old like that. Look at look at the uh, I'm sorry, like <laughs> backwards. That is super oh, yeah, cute. all the little pictures that it can print. I've been wanting to kind of do a few pictures, yeah, and print them should. out, but I'm still I don't want to use the paper. <laughs> 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 so, um, later on in the year, I got this amazing Final Fantasy VII Advent Children PSP. I bought it on the Facebook Marketplace. I believe I paid, oh, like maybe 60 bucks for it. I don't, I don't remember exactly. It was one of those things that I'm like, I don't really care how much it costs. Like, it's in town and it's Final Fantasy VII, so I'm buying it. But I believe it's a Japan import, and the only things that's really different about it versus, like, the, the, original. the original silver PSP is that the edges are a little bit darker, and uh, the buttons are a little bit darker, and that's I like it. the buttons, honestly. Yeah, it's it looks really darker. cool. And it's in great, great shape. <laughs> it was in great shape <laughs> until Kaylee threw it on the floor. So, the next thing we've got here is Rocking Cats. Now... I'm not necessarily proud that I have this game. It's nothing, like, amazing, other than it's worth a lot of money online. <laughs> it's worth, like, 80 bucks. And we bought a, um, a whole Nintendo lot at a garage sale for f maybe, like, $50, and then the game alone... You paid for it plus? Well, I kept it in the... Because, because I collect games i kept this in the collection but he i believe shoved it on the shelf but i believe i turned around and sold the the system for 50 bucks alone <laughs> and then i still was able to keep all the game all the other games there was a handful of other games that i didn't have but it, that one was like the you highlight you have this in a case i know <laughs> yeah now i mean 80 bucks isn't a whole lot of money but when you're it's considering great. you know that's pure profit and you know it's it's a rare game it's well, kind of neat. Yeah. Um, so then we also found this at a garage sale. It's not worth hardly anything, but I love this uh... game so much. And it's so funny that it's in its original box. Um, it, it comes with 
all of the floppy disks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> There's 12 floppy disks in there. Do you kids know what these are? That's the save file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's 12 of those bad boys in here. They're super cute. They're like, oh yeah, I've got like a phone case that looks like a floppy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, I really like this game, and when I saw it at the garage sale, I don't remember how much I paid. I Probably like, like maybe five bucks at most. Man, even the, ca- I mean, it's, it's a little like dent in places, but it's even in good shape. Is it? Oh yeah, it is dented. But yeah, it's, it's in really good shape. Um, well, considering how old it is. It's just, this, like, effect yeah, is so cute. Yeah, I like cute. that. It's really cute. Oh, man. I love that game. We'll have to play it. Uh, maybe I'll have to play it with Team 7, but I love this game. We'll have to sit down and play it. It's just a puzzle. It's kind of like the um, Escape Room puzzle games. It's very similar to that. It's just a point-and-click puzzle, like Myst. Um, but... I just, my uncle played it. I think I have his original copy, uh, but then I found this with the box and everything, and I'm like, I have to have it. But, um, yeah, just awesome, Aww. awesomeness. I love it. Um, and then we got this at a garage sale. The 32X in the box, and with all the cords and everything needed to play it. Um, this... I've never seen it at a garage sale before. I knew it existed, but you just don't you the, you don't come across these very often, let alone the box. So we got this at a garage sale with like all of the Sega stuff, like a Sega Genesis, this, and like a bunch of cords and a handful of games for like twenty dollars. So I'd say maybe paid about ten bucks for this guy. We got a sticker on here. Yeah, I think that's the original sticker. Of, oh, the, the, the oh, price no. down, the original price down sticker. New lower price twenty nine ninety eight. <laughs> Probably like a Kmart sticker. It's right here on the side. <laughs> I don't know. I have a couple system boxes that have the original price tag on it, like from wherever it is. It's like three hundred dollars or something like that. But yeah, just a really neat find. Not something you see every day. Just one of those things that if you go to enough garage sales, you find cool stuff. You know. So yeah. then, the last thing I wanted to show you guys, and I literally just picked this up, like, just a couple days ago. Um, we went to our one of our local, um, it, it's Half Price Books, but oh, we, ha- yeah. we have an outlet store in town, and um, I found this Yoshi's Aww. Island Guide. It's, for, like, from the 90s or something. It's a Super, super Nintendo game, so, I mean, it's just... How much did you pick it up for? I think six bucks. Oh no, it was cheaper than that because everything was twenty percent oh. off. So yeah, and all the all the pages in here are in black and white, and it's just Aww. it goes step by step on how to play the game and where you gotta go. It's just a guidebook, you know. But it's so neat. It's so it's cute. It's so fun to find these old old things that are in such good shape. So yeah, that's that's all I've got from. Uh, I mean, we've got. All the stuff on the wall. Oh, yeah. Like, we There's... get stuff all the time. And what I like to do... These are just your favorites, Yeah, right? these are just a few of my favorites. I, I've We've gotten so many other video games that are really neat. We got a Nightmare, a Nightmare Before Christmas PS2 game that is, like, really rare. Mm. Uh, we got a Spider-Man game for the Dreamcast that was, like, worth 20 bucks. Um, a handful of, like, Dreamcast demos... I've gotten a whole bunch of PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 demos. I've gotten a lot this past year from people who either worked at a um, a video store or just bought out all the video store supply when they closed, and then they resold it to me. But I'll, I'll find people who just have boxes of video games and they're just like, yeah, just give me like 60 bucks and it's yours. And then, you know, we keep it and clean it and throw it up on the shelf. You actually uh, got a contact this year. Too. Oh, yeah, actually. I've gotten two contacts this year from people who buy and sell um, the storage units. Kind of oh, like the Storage yeah. Wars guys. So I've found two people this year who do that. And they are storing those video games in a box for me. And I'll just, when they have about a, a box full, I'll, I'll go, go in like a hundred nice. bucks and I'll, they'll just give me everything that they got. So, 
Yeah, that's really cool because you never know. You never know what you're gonna find in something yeah. like that. Because these guys don't have any they idea. Care, They're just yeah. they don't. Yeah, they don't. They're looking for other stuff. Yeah, they don't want anything video game related. They just throw it in a box, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I pay them fifty bucks, and it's done. So, a lot of a lot of cool stuff that we've gotten this past year. Lot. I'm hoping for more stuff this year. <laughs> um. So, uh, anything else? Two thousand. 2018, 2019, you want to talk about? It's been a long year. It has. Yeah. We were going through some of the stuff, like the PSP, I feel like I've had forever, and I just got it this year. Like, I can't believe, I can't believe yeah. that. Although, I've had a PSP for so long, maybe that's all it is. I think, but... I, what it really is, is you look back at some of, like, some of these games, like, really? It was only, that was the beginning of this year, and then it's, you just find another one, like, a month after that. Like, man, that seems like it was such a long time ago. That's kind of, like, the... January 1st of 18, we reviewed um, Super Metroid, and that feels like it was only a couple months ago. Like, I don't feel like it's been that long, but yet, you know, we got the Game Boy and the Game Boy printer, you know, a few months after that, and I feel like I've had those forever and a day. So, you know, it's it's weird how that works out. Um, But yeah... Thank you all so much for watching. Um, you know, thanks for everything that you guys do for the channel, for the website. Yeah. It really, really does help when you guys are subscribing to our um, to our YouTube page. We're trying to do some of these events just to promote us a little bit. Again, we don't do this for for any other reason than we like to play video games. But if we can share that with more people, the more the merrier. You know, I, I just want to get out there and share our passion for these video games. I have a lot of really neat ideas that I want to do for 2019. Uh, one includes doing some um, interviews with other local gamers, however you want to define that. Um, and that's kind of my quest with these interviews is I want to see what other people view as, um, defining a gamer. So I, I'm really excited to experiment with that idea and see where that takes us. So that'll be mostly on our YouTube channel. So make sure you go over there and subscribe. Um, also I want to tell you guys all these video games that we're playing play with us. Like that's yeah. part of what we're doing this for so that you guys can be part of it. That's why we announce the video games ahead of time. We throw it on our website. We have a we have a section of what we're currently playing. So if you guys want to just play those games with us, score if you them. already have, if score you are, them. yeah, score them with us. If you already have them, score them, review them, send us an email, let us know what you think of these games, and we'll tack it on to what we talk about for those podcast episodes. So, you know, if it's something that you've played recently and you just want to, you you have two cents to throw at it, let us know. I would love to hear from you guys and. You know, I, I take take all that to heart, and it's a lot of fun to interact with other other people who are interested in the same stuff that I'm interested in. So, um, thank you guys again. It's been a great 2018, and we look forward to see you again in 2019.